hi everyone welcome to this session so let's solve this very interesting uh, interview question so basically it is a current input uh, rc circuit correct you can see so this is the input current and the input current shown by this graph with respect to time and we, we have also a dc current connected in this fashion okay and we have to plot what would be the output waveform and what is the IC waveform okay that, that that current waveform and lastly we try to comment some other parameters as well uh, at the end of the uh, video okay so let's solve so basically it is a ramp wave right uh, ramp this is the up uh, like this is the up slope and this is a down slope right so ultimately this is a ramp current okay that is flowing from here and that that ramp current has to flowing from these two branch one branch and two branch and actually this is the dc current okay what is the meaning of dc current it is a fixed current okay and we will we will try to predict what could be the dc current as well okay so okay so if you write the some kcl it will be i in equals ic plus idc okay so this is a fixed current so the current through the capacitor or this ic must be a ramp right because this is ramp this is fixed so this must be a ramp so that the kcl should be valid right okay so now so what will happen so okay so again so this this current will be ramp so if the ramp if the current through a capacitor is ramp then the voltage across the capacitor will be a parabolic uh, parabolic shape right so integration of ramp is like a parabola right okay okay so you know all of these things so the, the voltage waveform will be like a parabolic shape okay like square law shape okay kind of this okay correct yeah or, or maybe not this kind of this kind of things right yeah this will be the parabolic shape yeah so that much we we have came to know that the waveform of the v out will be a parabolic thing because the so again so if this is a ramp current right so this current will this voltage will try to increase so actually if you write the kcl so v out will be nothing but vc plus vr okay and vc will be a parabolic shape parabolic shape and uh, what is the ir like uh, ic into r so it will be a kind of ramp correct so this is the exact analysis understood because the v out is the summation of the vc and the vr and as the current is a ramp for sure so the voltage developed across the capacitor will be parabolic shape and the voltage developed across the resistance will be uh, like ramp okay so the V output is a kind of parabolic plus some ramp, correct? Okay, so this should be added. So this is a correct analysis. But yeah, we will assume that it is kind of parabolic thing. So we will be assuming that, okay? There is no actually thing, okay? No problem actually, we can assume that. Now we have to predict what is the current, average current here and what is the IDC here, okay. So we have to predict. So let's assume, so what is the average current flowing here? So what is the average I in? So you have a, so average is nothing but area under the curve over the time period, okay. So the middle point is the, is your DC. So if you do, you will find your DC will be 4 amps, okay, understood, because this was 5, this was 3 and we are assuming let's say 50% duty cycle, correct, okay, so yeah, so this is our overall T and this is T by 2, so it is a 50% duty cycle, so how to find the area under the curve, so this is the area, correct, in the on cycle. So how can you find? So you can find area under the curve in on cycle 
ओवर ऑन साइकिल टाइम और टाइम पीरियड तो दिस इज योर एक्चुअली एवरेज आई इन ओके आई इन डीसी नाउ व्हाट डू यू थिंक व्हाट विल बी योर दिस आई डीसी वैल्यू so yes this idc value is actually your 4 amp okay now what about this current ic so let's plot okay so this is your i in this is 3 this is 5 and your idc is 4 so let's say it is your 4 amps and what is your ic so your ic would be the ic is nothing but i in minus idc Correct. So when your uh, v I, I in is three, so you, this current is will be minus one. Correct. Okay. So it will be so it will be from minus one to one. Correct. So it will be one amps. To minus one amps, okay. It will be one amps to minus one amps. So if you do the summation of these two I D C, so it, you will get the I, and it is always varied from this expression as well, like this K C L, correct? So at this point, your V in is five, and your I D C is four, and your I C is one. So it is actually satisfying. So actually, now what is the average current through the cap? So it will be zero, correct? Because again, this area under the car over the time period, correct, will be zero. So I am not going to show that. So I want to make you the apparent current through the capacitor actually be zero. Okay. So now let's assume. Now let's assume. Let's say your I D C is not four volt. Okay. Let's say your I D C is actually maybe uh, so not a volt. It will be amps. Um, so let's say this. Uh, Maybe three amps, okay. So your IC will be nothing but I in minus three amps. So it will be one time it will be five, and one time it will be three, right? Correct. So then one time it will be five minus three, so it will be two, and another another time it will be how much? Three minus three, it will be zero. So how how will be your picture of the IC then? So it will be zero to two. Correct. Now, what do you think? What will be DC now? DC IC, IC DC current. So it will be not zero. Correct. It will be not zero. This area under the car will not zero. So it will be how much? And it will be not zero. Okay, that is that is for sure. Yeah. And again, it will be how much? What is the DC? Because you have assumed the DC from that IDC is three, so the DC of this uh, capacitor will be for sure on amps. Okay. So yes, so in this question we are assuming so much of things, uh, right? Because in the in the reality, on on voltage uh, like this I D C should be given, okay? Unless we cannot predict what will be the average current flowing through this cap, correct? So this is the takeaway. Now what about the voltage? Voltage will be from. 
तो वोल्टेज वेव फॉर्म विल बी नथिंग बट सो ओके आई एम ड्राइंग अगेन हियर सो इट विल बी अप्रोक्स अप्रोक्सिमेटली ए स्क्वायर लॉ फंक्शन ओके सो लेट्स अज्यूम सो इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड अगेन इट विल बी स्क्वायर लॉ बट इट विल बी इन द डाउनवर्ड ओके अगेन इट विल बी काइंड ऑफ दिस थिंग एंड इट विल बी डाउनवर्ड ओके सो दिस इज द अप्रोक्सिमेट वेव फॉर्म ओके या that is the thing so most more more of the case it will be a uh, kind of uh, square law okay because your output function will be v out of t will be nothing but some t square plus t correct some k1 over k2 k1 and k2 okay so this will be your actually output waveform so actually for the longer period of time you can see this term is actually more dominant okay okay i think this was a very good question so actually uh, like this is a open type of discussion i i haven't given the current here the dc current so the according to the dc current the current through the uh, ic will be varies right but the overall dc current will be same as the sum of this two dc current this current and this current will be the dc current provided by the input current okay and again one can ask you to find what is the voltage waveform across this current source b V I in okay, so you have to plot that because it is a five volt DC source, so you can find okay. I think it was a very good question, a very good intuitive sense here in this in this circuit, okay. And again, I am not I am not preparing uh, for this question, okay. I am just think let's make a video uh, in this kind of uh, circuit, so I am making that okay, yeah, okay. Like there was no such kind of preparation from my end because. again i am telling i am actually busy so please consider this okay yeah yeah that was all of all of the things yeah